now got to look forward and pick a new candidate, somebody who has credibility, experience and can unite the party. That is the big challenge for the Conservative Party in the next week. Who is that uni unity candidate? You're watching BBC News. I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. Liz Truss quits as Prime Minister after just six weeks in office. The shortest serving Prime Minister in British history will be out of Downing Street by next Friday after a chaotic few weeks in power. 2022, the year of three Prime Ministers at least. After an astonishing decade in British politics, another unprecedented moment. Who will be the next Prime Minister? Could Boris Johnson attempt to come back? Or will it be Rishi Sunak or another former leadership candidate? Disbelief across the UK as Downing Street implodes in the middle of a soaring cost of living crisis. It just needs stabilising, needs sorting out and moving forward because the rest of the country is in, a, is in turmoil, isn't it? We're following some breaking news out of the United Kingdom after less than two months on the job. We'll be asking how much damage all this political chaos is doing to the UK's reputation around the world. And stay with us here on the BBC News Channel for continuing coverage and analysis from our team of correspondents in the UK and around the world. Good evening. Liz Truss has resigned after 44 days in office. She is now the shortest serving Prime Minister in British history. Just 24 hours after she told MPs defiantly that she was a fighter, not a quitter, she is on her way out. Her fate sealed by the resignation of the Home Secretary yesterday and the chaotic scenes in the House of Commons last night as more and more Conservative MPs voiced their disbelief at what was going on. Sir Graham Brady, the head of the powerful 1922 Committee of Backbench Tory MPs, went to Downing Street this morning at the request of the Prime Minister. At 1.30 this afternoon, Liz Truss emerged outside number 10 and announced that she had spoken to the King and was resigning. A new Prime Minister is expected to be in place by the end of next week at the latest, but it could be as soon as Monday. Well, let's go straight to our political editor, Chris